test, test, testing, one, two, three. the F is up everyone. Now, this isn't a tutorial, this is more of a I giving you guys some advice. Because um, one of my subscribers asked, hey, how do you keep working on songs because I find like I get bored of them every time? Now this is a great question and it is something that we're all going to come across as producers and musicians and artists and it is quite a difficult thing to to overcome now I've got a few points here on what I do personally now like I always say everyone is different so you know these things might not work for you but you can definitely give them a try because they might work but But yeah, um, I'll list the points from the one that works the most to the one that works the least for me. So there's about maybe three or four points. So I'll just explain. Okay. Um, first point, right? Number one is stop making music <laughs> so you get to the point where you're working on a song right and it literally just sounds bad like it sounds like nothing's right it sounds like it's not working it sounds like the mix is bad majority of the time the song is great but you've just heard it that many times that it's it just it's bad like it sounds like shit because you've literally heard the same thing over and over and over if you get to that point just stop just save it get out of the track and just go for a walk um, go get lunch because majority of the time you're hungry I sometimes work right through lunch uh, I work right through dinner because I don't realize that I'm spending so much time on the computer um, you know my hands start to get sore my fingers are sore my wrist I get pains in my wrist here because I'm leaning on the desk I'm leaning on the desk so much um, so yeah, just the first thing is get away from the, the technology because the technology, it fries your brain. Um, especially for us EDM producers, it's a bit different if you're a musician and you've got a guitar and you're singing. Um, I think it'd be a lot different, but since we're, we're EDM producers for us, we're, we're staring at technology and as much as I really don't like technology, like the computer is our tool. We need the computer or our laptop. So. If it gets to that point where the song sounds like crap or the mix down sounds like crap, don't panic because 99% of the time the mix down is actually just fine. It's just that you've heard it that many times, your brain is just forcing itself to pick at things that are not there. So number one is just take a break. Um, and this, like I said, you guys need to obviously then do the things that you like to do other than make music. Um, so I, I like to game, I'm a gamer, um, and I know I just said that can try to get away from the technology, but like a break for me could be going out and playing some PlayStation or playing a computer game, just to stop making the music. Um, I think the best thing would be is going for a walk or going outside. If you've got a dog or a cat, go play with your pet for a bit, just go chill. Um, but keep in mind also, if it's gotten to the point where the song sounds bad you need to get away from that song for at least a day or two <laughs> like I don't mean like go for a walk for two minutes and then come back on the same song like don't just avoid that song for the rest of the day um, because this has happened to me before right and then I I leave the song I leave it for a day or two I come back open that same song and I'm like oh this sounds awesome like so do you understand what I'm trying to say here um, 
So get away from that song, pretty much, is what I'm trying to say, and get away from the computer if you can. Um, number two, okay, this is what I've been doing a lot lately, which is helping me a lot, especially with this EP, because I'm already over the EP, trust me. I'm uh, really, really already over it. Um, number two is speed working. Speed working. What I mean by speed working, I mean is uh, working fast, but obviously keeping your quality. Okay, so I'm at that point now. I've been making music now for two years, going on to three years, okay? Three years in a few weeks, actually. So I'm now confident that I can throw down some scales, I can throw down a piano, I can throw down a lead, I can make an ARP, I can lay down my drums, I can do all that shit in literally two minutes, right? And I can make that sound good in two minutes. Now, if you're a newer producer and you don't have that speed yet, then just work as quick as you can, but make sure it still sounds good. So what I'm trying to say is don't, don't spend 45 minutes trying to pick pick your drums like you know what I mean so don't sit here and go oh fuck what, what what kick do I want oh this one nah not that one that sounds like too weird that's too light no I don't like trap kicks no nah, maybe not that maybe in here oh a drum loop no this no no, no, like, don't do that, like, you, most of us have our go-to sample packs, right, that we go to straight away, but you guys have to remember is stuff like drums, this is a sample pack, so some motherfuckers sat in a studio, probably, like, at, at an expensive $200,000 studio, and they've spent, like, you know, multiple days or even hours on these packs to sell to, to us for money. Okay, it's it, this. These weren't made by some kid sitting in his bedroom, <laughs> like me. It wasn't some dude in his bedroom making shitty little kicks on fucking serum and stuff. No, no, this is this is done properly, you know. So all of these are already EQ'd, already processed. You could literally just, you know, you could literally just go like this. All right, you can just go one. and two, that's it, and you can now start working on your track, right, um, because the complete truth is, these sample packs don't even really need editing at all, that's it, I can now start the song, alright, and lay the drums out for eight bars and get it moving, so, you guys understand what I'm saying, there's no point dwelling on things that you don't need to dwell on, um, another thing with the speed working, um, yeah, so just working, you know, on the things that you can do quick, do them quick. Things that you need to take your time on. So, you know, when you actually write a melody, your your growls, your drop, take your time on that. Take a day, take two days. That That's fine. But like I said, things like drums, cymbals, anything that's got to do with a sample that you've bought, don't fuck around with it because it's already pretty much perfect. It's why they're selling it. They're not going to be selling samples that are shit. <laughs> like, so that's that. Um, number three. This is also helping me a lot. Um, sketching out your songs quickly. Um, oh no. Sketching out your songs quickly. So I've done a video on this before. So I'll leave a link. Um, so what I mean by that is, right, let's just say I've got these drums out, okay, whatever, pattern one is my intro, okay, so, you know, intro, Melody. I've done a video on this before, so I'm gonna leave the. the so do you guys, I'll leave the link in the description. So do you guys understand what I'm trying to say? So get the sketch all out and then go back and edit. So same thing. It all comes down comes down to your speed. Um, 
So if you, you just say you've already got a lead and some scales and chords and stuff, just lay them out across the track and then go back and edit them or change it if you don't like the sound of it. Don't sit, you know, don't sit here for fucking two hours. Okay, I've got my drums, I've got an intro idea. Don't sit here for two hours working on a on a four bar intro or an eight bar intro. Like, you know, like it, it's not needed. Your intro, you can literally make an intro in two seconds. You just freaking get it up and low pass it in or you just get effects or a guy talking or whatever. Like, you don't need to be sitting here for six hours working on a little eight bar intro and then when six hours is done, you go, okay, this is perfect. And you look and you've got nothing else done. That is silly. Um, now, I know some people are perfectionists and stuff and there's a lot of musicians who and artists who do that, that's fine. But if you're trying, if you're having a problem with getting bored of things quick, then you're probably the type of person who shouldn't be doing that. Um, number four, this is probably the last one that works. That's been working amazing for me. This probably should have been the first one, but make your own samples. Now I'm going to do a whole separate video on this because this is a gr this point is that good that I'm going to make its own video, but I'll still you know keep it short in this video. I've got a video on how to do this too, so I'll leave that in the description. Make your own samples. Now, why? Because once it, once it's sampled out right, okay, so let's just say, let's just pretend. Okay, let's pretend I made this sample, okay? I've sampled it out, I've brought it into my drop. Well, can someone tell me what, what is so good about this? Right, what's so good about having this, my own made sample? I can't change it. I can't open it and change the growl. I can't open the plugin and try to make it sound a little bit different or whatever. This is done. That, that sample is done and I have to use it. Um, I've been doing this in all my drops, so you know what I might do actually? I'll show you guys right now. Right, my EP. Right. My whole drop is samples. Not other people's samples obviously, but my own samples that I made. So I open a second project, I make the samples, and then I drag them into here. Like I said, it it um it helps you get a move on. <laughs> it really does because I can't sit here for two hours on Serum fucking around like an idiot. So look at that, guys, my drop. All samples that I've made. It's easy to work with samples. It's more fun. I can just copy paste, cut shit up, move it around, whatever. And you know. And like I said, I'm, you're not fucking around on Serum for ages going, oh, I should change this because it sounds a little bit weird, or I should go do this, or add this little bit of distortion, blah, blah, blah. No. If, if you need to change the sound that bad, then you open the second project and do the tweaking and then resample it. But like I said, I'm lazy, so majority of the time, even if I did want to change it, I don't because I just cannot be fucked. And that's it. And then by doing my own samples, I've... I've got whole drops done in like literally two hours and it's fucking awesome. So, now I know there's going to be one dickhead who goes, but you're not spending enough time on your drop and you're not making it sound too good or blah blah blah, blah. but the truth is, alright, my drop probably sounds better than yours and I'm doing this method. So, give it a try. If you don't like it, then stick to your way. But I'm just saying, give this a try and your, your music making is going to be sped up by a lot. Alright, by a lot. Um, oh, fifth point and the last point, which is a great little, you don't have to do this, but this is good for your brain too, is, um, is, so example, if you're making dubstep, don't listen to dubstep, okay, um, don't listen to dubstep, so if you, I'm working on a dubstep EP right now, so when I'm driving to work, when I'm hanging out with my girlfriend, when we're when I'm just sitting in my room watching YouTube videos and listening to music, I don't have dubstep cranking. I've got rock or hip hop or rap or future bass or trap or whatever. 
don't listen to dubstep because you've already got your brain's already trying to process dubstep so much that you don't need it you don't need to listen to it like but if you know if you're making a trap song then fuck it crank your dubstep or like on the weekend I still listen to dubstep when I'm with my friends but during the week I virtually will not listen to any dubstep because I'm making it so that's just a cool little trick for your brain to help you just sort of filter out all the electronic music and shit so yeah so yeah that's it guys that's fuck five tips to help you overcome writer's block I hope that helps your question um, to my subscriber who asked but um but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video and I hope this helps, so peace.